What is going on guys? Uh, welcome back to the next video on learning PHP security. My name is QDS Dan and you guys watching my channel Cryowood. Okay, so in this uh, video we are gonna stop at the moment for security and when we start the cookie and session and when we go there and uh, complete the profile we're gonna come back to the security again and I'm gonna make you guys expert in security. In this video we're gonna show you guys how to make cookie. Cookie is a cookie and you guys if you guys don't know anything about cookie cookie is uh, see it's a HTML pages whatever pages you guys see so far HTML is stateless what do we mean by stateless statement means his HTML have no idea who's using the website what is using beside making some of this uh, say whatever you guys putting here you guys putting first name last name but uh, no one knows who's uh, doing what it means if you guys making social media media and then you guys want to uh, giving to everyone you guys want to track who's using the social media where it's going what what values the whoever is doing uh, what the users doing with your website you guys want to make log so that logs everything users doing what time the users coming who's coming and who's going so you want to keep track of the users movement because HTML by itself is not providing you any information besides just rendering some of the JavaScript and some of the code. So how to make cookie? There are a lot of ways to make cookies. Cookies is, sounds very good, like a cookie. So, and you cookies, to be honest with you, cookies invisible. You guys can't see cookies. The only way you guys can see, you guys can put in your admin and so you guys can cookie. So you guys come here and you, we have created a cookie here, cookie PHP, you guys can create in, in separate file. You guys can create it anywhere. So if you guys create here as cookie.php, then you guys can uh, come here in index on whatever your website is so you guys can go on top and include this cookie say on top okay so now we have a website and uh, just let you guys know cookies are invisible you can't see like a session id we, which in the next few videos we're going to go in the session then how we're going to see the cookies okay so cookies are invisible because we're going to keep track of the users what the whose users doing what so we refresh this one and we're gonna go on uh, inspect and you guys see that inspect and I mean uh, Firefox you guys can Chrome you guys can see developer and if you guys gonna come here performance and memory and when you go that's that's for JavaScript debugger network whatever network you guys doing that's for CSS and its performance that's for memory and when you guys come in storage you guys gonna see there's a cookie and there's a cache storage and that's a cookie so there's there's what the, because at the moment we don't have any cookies here if you guys looking here uh, we don't have any cookies here and by default you guys should see a cookies if you guys go in google and if you right click you guys gonna see heaps of cookies here and you guys can clear the cookies on the client you are you are a client you guys can come here and see history and even you guys go can clear history it says cache and it says cookie it means you guys can clear cookie offline and site setting whatever forms search history active logins browsing history it means active logins it means that is remembers your session so you guys can do the cookie so how are we going to set the cookies as a web developer you guys coming here and when it says cookie you guys just put a set cookie set cookie simple as that set uh, okay so we have to first put the php make sure you guys put the php tag because if you don't put a php you're going to be in big trouble and once you guys done the php then you guys going to come in and setting cookies cookie and if you remember we have uh, put in our super global and we're going to finish this one we're going to put a comment on this around this one around uh, our uh, here we're gonna put a comment or you guys want to remove it you can remove it and we're gonna put a comment so we don't want to see this again and that's as uh, only PHP sitting here and we're gonna open this one super global because uh, we're gonna vis revisit all these super globals okay so now we have a PHP but our PHP is not doing anything now we go should see the super global and what I mean by uh, say cookie we are going to do this one and the next video a few videos we're going to go and see session what is session okay so this uh, cookie now we're going to where we are working because it's super global 
you guys can set the cookie you are guys can unset the cookie so if you're gonna come here and you guys refresh this one you guys should see your uh, cookie here and I'm not sure why I'm seeing this ones but I'll see so because it's a PHP and it's still rendering this one so what I'll do I'm gonna move this ones and I'm gonna so you guys a good idea if you guys keep record so you guys copy that one we are copying our uh, HTML entities so you control s and we're going to get rid of this html entities and we're going to move it to our uh, somewhere say uh, read me file so we're going to create uh, another folder and our folder we're going to put in records so we're going to keep the records and this one's going to be say uh, so you paste everything here and you guys can uncomment this one if you want because there is no need to comment on there is no need to hide this one because this is only the only file you have you guys have so you guys can uh, save it as so you guys don't forget filter you guys filter bar you guys can put it filter war dot txt make sure you guys put a txt and once you guys put a txt uh, the php knows this is just a record it's nothing else but a record and we're gonna come here and we're gonna move all this here as well all our comment here so we're gonna move it so we don't want to see a lot of uh, code here we just want to move this one here somewhere underneath for our record okay so now we have moved everything here now you guys can put it that's txt it's got nothing to do with the PHP that's our records and now we are gonna go on the cookie and we're gonna set the cookie so you just put a set cookie and you see that's very easy you guys just setting a cookie so the first three you guys need you guys first you guys need to put a name and your name is gonna be string and I'm giving you just example so you guys can put your name here the name is not very scary but it looks like it's scary and you guys can put a value so you guys can put a say string value you guys can put any values you guys like so and you guys put the expiry time and you can uh, you put the value and you can put an expiry what are the ex what is the expiry time and after that you can put a path as a because you guys just starting you guys uh, you find it a little bit uh, very complicated and you can you then you can put a do your domain so you can put a domain and after domain you can put a secure files and uh, you can put a boolean so putting long cutting long story short i'm going to show you guys the easiest way for you guys to create your cookies okay so keep in mind we need a lot of arguments here the first one is going to be the name that's very important the second one is going to be say value and the values here the third one's going to be say uh, expire expiry the fourth one's going to be say uh, path you guys don't need to set all of them but the first three is uh, very very important and the set cookie it wants you guys to put all these three very very important you guys don't need to set the path or you guys don't need to put a domain domain or uh, you guys don't don't need to put a this secure and http only so the last one's uh, http only then the only uh, because php wants to know if it's for http or of any other uh, any other application and the last one is going to be have a uh, options all right so how are we gonna set a cookie so you guys need to put a name and you guys can put a time so whatever time you guys gonna want to put the first one for the set cookie as i said you guys need three you guys in a name value and expiry that's very very important if you guys want to set a cookie so the first one you guys need to put is your, your, your username and i'm going to set it as danny say uh, the username i'm going to put a, you guys can put any name you guys like okay so that's the first one and then we're going to set the value what the value you guys like to put in your cookie so the value we put a say corio for example or you can put the name of your website 
you can create as many cookies as you like okay I'm gonna refresh this ones so we're gonna refresh this one and we're gonna see our form back so here in our cookie so you guys need the value and the value is going to be the name of our site uh, whatever site you guys can put the value as a forms you guys can uh, put a forms as a value and uh, what is the the time is going to what is the expiry time because you, if you don't put expiry then the php is going to be very mad so you guys can put a time and the time you guys going to put a 60 seconds and minutes so it starts with the seconds so you guys gonna put a plus you just put a plus 60 second multiply by 60 minute multiply so you just put a multiply by 24 hours and multiply how many you want to put 30 days how many hours you guys want to put say you guys want to put for 20 days so the first one is uh, 60 minute uh, 60 second by 60 minute by 24 hour by 20 days you guys can set the time okay so now we're gonna go and see if uh, our code's got any error 60 60 24 and 20 you guys can put it now we have set the cookies and if we need to include our cookie file because we have a cookie file here and you guys need to include it in, in inside this index so we're gonna go on top and on the header and you guys can uh, include your PHP here you guys can include on the top you guys can include anywhere you guys like because uh, PHP is embedded language and we put include cookie just put the name of the file say if you can put a full cookie dot PHP if your cookie sits in somewhere in the folders you guys can put a folder name but because our cookie is sitting here uh, we don't need a folder name we just put the name of the cookie okay so we're going to do save all and we're going to go here and we refresh and you guys don't see anything you guys do not say anything you guys look right here now you have a cookie in your uh, form you can track the user see if Facebook maybe have a 20 cookies our Twitter maybe have a 30 cookies Google always send you guys cookies with the cookies it remembers your session it remembers everything about you see when you guys go on Amazon and you guys buy something or you guys go on a shopping e-commerce website they send you cookies and the cookie comes in stores in computer and next time the you guys gonna come in and they remember you okay so now we kind of come here inspector console debugger memory and storage and if you guys look in here we have one cookie now uh, the name is Yazdani and the value is a form and if you look in here the name is Yazdani the value is a form and the time is 60 60 24 by 20 days so uh, it's a form the path is a form so the value as I said to you guys you guys need the name value domain path and if you guys look in the name value expiry domain path domain secure http only and you guys are gonna see all all whatever you guys as i said to you guys you guys are gonna see here the size you guys are gonna see so whatever information here and you guys are gonna see here so last access is gonna be expiry 23rd of march because uh, whatever whenever i'm recording this one if uh, it's a third it's the third and if you look in here it's a third of the March this year 2022 and it's a third of the March 2022 and expires expires on 23rd because it's 20 days but if you guys come here and move this one say uh, 30 you're gonna go uh, we're gonna see after the month then you it's gonna be the value is gonna change and we're gonna recent and you're gonna see we're gonna have a different totally different cookie and now it's expired on 2nd of Ap April you guys are gonna see so that's how the parameter you guys needs inside the cookie the first one is gonna be the name once and foremost you're gonna be Amazon Twitter whatever and the value is the, what is the value you guys want to put a shop shop only our e-commerce and the domain local host path whatever path say the value you guys want to change form so you guys want to put it so the value is uh, 
you put a digital watch so you set this cookie for digital watch when the customer buy the digital watch goes inside the digital watch and you guys quickly send the cookies because the user bought the digital watch and you guys look in here digital watch so now you guys know that the, when the user came in and the user bought this uh, user uh, the user client computer which is the user now they store the Yazdani and it says digital watch local form and the path is the form this is the path it expires on this day you guys can put a one year you guys can set a six months whatever you guys like and you guys gonna come here and it says plus 60 minute 60 hours and 24 hours and and it's going you guys can put a one day or two day 30 day you guys can even put a 365 days so you guys can put a 365 days till next year so when we come here and refresh and you're going to see your cookie is going to be 24 hours 365 days which is going to be the 2023 so because i'm at the moment i'm recording on the third of the march 2022 and you guys gonna see this gonna be expired on 23rd of the March 2023 because here we have set it 365 days you guys can even store in users computer cookies for 365 days uh, uh, 365 days exactly one year and it says HTTP only is false and the secure is false because it's not secure we, under, we don't want to put it secure so when you guys go on some website it says HTTPS it means it's a secure site but because we are working on local host we are testing we don't need this http and we don't need these things so last access last access this time same side now because as i said that the http is an object this http this uh, whatever you guys see the page is object and it doesn't is stateless it means it doesn't know about this page by default if you guys opening this page and this page doesn't know about each it got no information about each other uh, so the server here whatever you guys using and the Facebook you guys don't have any as far as H HTML is concerned there is no connection but with the cookie they make a connection now they can track you they can see what time you guys uh, log in so these cookies have all the values of as and they send it to your computer next time you log in and they know that you've been to their sites and you bought this watch expensive watch whatever such this time and their cookies expired on this time you guys can put it for one month as a developer you guys can put it two months but nowadays you guys go on the sites and they send you like hundreds of cookies to be honest they send you hundreds of cookies and all of them with the different values every page you guys browse they send you cookies with that with that page without you guys even knowing so that's how the website like amazon and twitter and everyone else as i said they tracking you guys and they know what that you guys been to their sites and you guys can uh, say if you guys want to create the different cookies so we're going to create the second cookie and this cookie is going to be say uh, the names we put it say Corio for example Corio and this Corio is going to be say wood for example say it's going to be wood and the times gonna be say it's gonna be 10 days for example okay now we setting two cookies and we're gonna send it to user for example and we're gonna come here and now you says that the users have storage and users have a two cookies and it's gonna be cryo and wood and expires at such and such time in 10 days whatever you guys can have a three cookies or you guys can have say four cookies as many cookies you guys like because uh, we are the PHP web developers are uh, say the third one is gonna be Azad and the fourth one is gonna be Michael and you can even put a Trump and uh, say you can six six cookies then this guy is gonna be Trump cookie and and this guy is going to be joe biden for example joe and you guys can uh, whatever you guys want to put it here you guys can put a say trump tower for example you guys can put the value tower you guys can put a joe and the value submit or joe you can put a value of uh, white house for example white 
house you can put any values but that's this is just example you guys uh, and the value you're gonna say you can is expires on 20 days and expires in 35 days and this one this guy is expires at 40 days so now how many cookies we have one two three four five six now we have six cookies and once we kind of come here and refresh and you guys are gonna see we're gonna bombard the user with cookies now we have all these cookies you're looking here and all of them the size that's the size and it's expiry and the path is for it's local host the domain is local host so domain is like a uh, YouTube and you guys Wikipedia is a domain the domain of Facebook is facebook.com YouTube the domain is youtube.com that's how you guys see the domain all right so now we're gonna go and uh, see the different ways so you guys are gonna delete all this because it's a lot easier so you guys seen this uh, digital watch instead of this digital for I put a value of say 20 because I just like numerics you guys can put a 20 and instead of this time you guys can put a 120 say you guys can put a 100 for example our 10 and you guys because time is in built PHP functions you guys are gonna ch change this one instead of all this scary looking uh, multiplication and putting 60 minute and hours whatever you guys can just put a 10 and you guys gonna remember that one we come and refresh and you guys gonna look here that we still remember this ones here and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get rid of all of these cookies so I'm gonna save and I'm gonna run so we're gonna come here at the history and I'm gonna clear all the history and here And here you guys looking here that the value is 20 because we put the value is 20 the name is just done is local host and it's going to see that's the third of the March and uh, that's that's uh, expires going to be in 10 minutes say it's going to be say uh, this is 635 it's going to be 735 which is 10 minute is size is 9 HTTP only is false so you guys can do this can do the first one if you want to put the minute like that but if you guys then if you guys want to further escalate that one then you guys need to do 60 multiply 60 which is 60 minute multiply 60 six sorry 60 seconds then 60 minute and then it's gonna be 24 hours and you guys can uh, put a say uh, 24 hours uh, multiply 10 it's gonna be like 10 days okay so we're gonna come here if you guys don't see your cookies it's gonna be 13 because today is 3 it's gonna be 13 if you guys don't see your cookies just go here and history and clear history and you guys need to clear this one so you guys if it's like that put a tick and put it like that and you guys gonna be clear your cookies so just keep in mind that the user can delete the cookies can clear the browser from the cookies and the session ID alright guys that's it for this video I, I hope you guys got the idea of the, how you guys gonna set your cookies and um, I hope you guys like the video please subscribe our channel so in the next video we're gonna go on the session we're gonna see what session is and in the future videos then we're gonna go and uh, set up the profile and we're gonna see the files when we're gonna upload our uh, pictures and wallpapers so there is gonna be a cool videos uh, ahead of you guys so you guys gonna enjoy my uh, videos of PHP you guys gonna enjoy PHP when you guys learn and soon in no time you guys gonna be the master of PHP All right guys uh, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video and bye